So if acetophenone reacts with NH2OH in acidic medium, this gives two isomeric oxime. You have to write down the structure of two isomeric oxymes. So first you write down the structure of acetophenone. So let us take some time. So you see this molecule is called acetophenone because one side you have acetyl group and this side you have phenyl group. So this is phenyl, this is acetyl group and the whole molecule is called acetophenone. Now the simple if you react with NH2OH what will happen? You have to have double bond so if you react this with NH2OH and basically you know the answer what will happen H2O will get lost so you will have one side phenyl group and then CH3 and here you have double bond NOH and now there is a lone pair on this nitrogen now see this can exist as a cis as well as trans so you have PH and this lone pair one side in another case you will have CH3 and lone pair are opposite something like this so this is isomeric 1 and you can have another isomer and OH here you put the lone pair are you getting but now this time here you put the CH3 group and here you put the pH group are you getting or not so this is the isomer 2 so it will exist in two isomeric form let us discuss the next problem so you have so this is a roadmap problem. So you have an aldehyde and the molecular formula of aldehyde is C11H8O and the thing is given this aldehyde does not undergo self-aldol condensation reaction. This means aldehyde does not have any alpha hydrogen, so no alpha hydrogen. So there is no alpha hydrogen that is given in this aldehyde. Now if this aldehyde is taken through ozonolysis ozone Z and H2O that is reductive ozonolysis if you remember this gives benzaldehyde plus 2 mole of a compound B and now if B is further oxidized with AZ plus this gives oxalic acid Now you see this is oxidized by AG plus and this gives me a hint and what is the hint that there must be something CHO group. So AG plus oxidizes COHO CHO group to COH group so that is a tolerance reagent. So this is nothing but tolerance reaction and tolerance reaction only converts aldehyde to acid so tolerance reagent converts aldehyde to acid COOH so aldehyde to acid so there must be one aldehyde roots in B so B must contain so I know now B contains aldehydic function group are you getting now let us discuss this problem now how many carbon we have? We have 11 carbon. What is the unsaturation factor? So you see for 11 you should have 11 into 2 plus 2. So this is the required number of hydrogen you should have. But how many hydrogen you have? You have only 8 hydrogen. Oxygen is not counted at all. So if I have oxygen in a compound I have to leave that oxygen. Minus 8 divided by 2. So this is the unsaturation factor. So what you will have 11 to 24 224 minus 8 16 16 by 2 8 so 8 is the unsaturation factor now this compound first gives benzaldehyde you see so compound gives benzaldehyde plus 2 mole of B so benzaldehyde now I know this is onozonolysis so B is 
I have one product is benzaldehyde that is CHO and two mole of B so now you see how many carbon we have six plus one seven carbon so how many carbon more I needed so total is eleven so B that is two mole of B so B is basically four mole divided by so B contains two carbon B contains two carbon are you getting because it has total four carbon so 11 carbon here you have and 7 carbon here you have so rest of the carbon is 4 and now you are getting 2 mole of B so 1 mole of B will contain 2 mole of carbon so that is B contains 2 carbon now we also know the B contains aldehyde group are you getting or not so now I know B must be having so I should have so let us say B should be something like this an aldehyde group and one carbon so this is the expected formula for B now you see this aldehyde group must have came from here are you getting or not so I should have so let us try to write a structure of A so let us say I should have A something like this I will have a benzene ring and I must have a double bond here then only I would get benzaldehyde plus 1 now I am getting same now how many carbon I should have so 5 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 2 9 I should have 2 more carbon because now you see what is the unsaturation factor total unsaturation factor is 8 how many unsaturation I have so 3 double bond plus 1 a ring 4 plus 2 6 I need 2 more and that is possible only if if I put a double bond here that is a triple bond so what will happen in that case I will break it from here and then I should have CHO group here then only one sided I will get COOH this side also COH this side CHO and this side CHO because this is so compound uh, if I do oxid ozonolysis I am getting two mole of compound B that is possible only if this side I will get COOH this side I will get CHO this side already there is a CHO so now I know the structure of A. So compound A will be CH double bond CH C triple bond C and then you have CHO. So now you check how many carbon we have. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 carbon. How many hydrogen we have? 5, 6, 7, 8. How many oxygen I have? One. So this is the compound A molecular formula is this. Now things are very simple. Now if you do ozone analysis, this will break here and this will break here. And now we have already said in the class ozone, ozone analysis of alkyne gives acid in any case. So this will have CHO plus this side will have CHO and this side will have COOH plus this side also we will have COOH. CHO are you getting so you have two mole of this so this is one mole and this is the another mole both are the same compound now the same now if you treat this compound so this is my B so either this or this both are same compound now if you do react with AZ plus you will have COOH this side and COOH this side out uh, initially I have so I will have COOH COOH and that is basically oxalic acid and that is given in the problem that compound is oxalic acid after oxidation with AZ plus so oxalic acid you see here the compound gives oxalic acid after oxidation with AZ plus now let us discuss the next problem